Blender has proven over the years that it is a very good software for creating short films, as we have seen it done several times through the Blender Open Movie project. The good thing about Blender is the fact that it can cover pretty much the entire movie production pipeline from pre-production to post-production, which gives you all the tools necessary to work on your film from start to finish. Pre-production In this stage, what you are going to do for the most part is planning, creating a story, and the world and the characters involved in it. This is very important, and it will basically shape how your movie will look like when it is completed. You might think that this is not very important, but if you skip this stage, you will be facing more problems and wasting more time as a result. This stage is really detrimental because it can make or break the whole process, and it can lead to a great looking or a poor looking movie. Some of the important aspects of pre-production stage that you should go through are The story before you make a movie, you need to have an idea for the story and why it is important for the people you are targeting and why it is important for the people who are going to engage with it. You have to define the main concept of the story and who are the people you are targeting. For example, the Blender Institute worked on a short film called Sin Tale in which a lovely young woman helps and befriends a dragon, whom she calls Scales. But when he was kidnapped by an adult dragon, Sin Tale decided to embark on a journey to find her dragon. Of course, when you decide what the story is going to be, you need to write a script for it. You are going to develop characters and their dialogues, if it is going to be necessary. The script can refine flaws in the story by making it practical and allowing characters' actions and words to be aligned. Concept Art Concept art renders possible a visual depiction of ideas that hold the potential for a great short film. It involves visualizing sets, characters or environments that make up design. Concept art is also a very important part of pre-production to translate the story into images and set the atmosphere and the tone of the world that the characters are going to interact with. For this part of the project, the artist who worked on Blender movies before used open source software such as GIMP or Krita to create their concept art. Storyboarding This is the process in which you transform the written story into a design on paper so you can outline or block out scenes and the dialogue that is going between characters. The storyboarding is going to allow you to see how the story is progressing and how long every action and scene takes to complete. In Blender specifically, we have a tool called the Grease Pencil, which allows us to do storyboarding in addition to another well-known process called animatics, in which you can add parts needed or remove parts of the story that you don't really need, using short animated sketches if it is hand-drawn or simple quick animations if you choose to use 3D animation. With animatics, basically you can plan the sequence of your scene and the visual effects you will have to add later on. At this stage, you should finalize your scenes and dialogues as it will be more difficult to make these changes during production. Model Sheets Creating model sheets is considered the bridge between pre-production and actual production, because now you already have the characters for your movie and have an idea of what they are gonna be doing. Model sheets show every possible angle of a specific character, vehicle, or environment props so that the 3D artist later on can use them to transfer the concept art to 3D models that will be animated in the film. This drawing will display all sides and expressions of the characters that will appear in the movie, because having a detailed drawing makes the modeling of the characters easier later on. Number 2. Production In this stage, you are ready to jump to the real work, I mean the actual stuff that you are going to show to people through your film, because everything else we have done so far serves as a stepping stone for what comes next. Modeling in this stage, you take your 2D characters from concept to 3D using 3D modeling tools in Blender, and this will define how your characters will look like in action inside the final movie you are going to create. This is where your model sheets will be useful, as it becomes easier to transform your character to 3D since you have already drawn all the angles. Modeling also involves creating the environment or the scenes in which the action is going to take place. I would say that the most time-consuming part is gonna be this, 
and you need few artists working on it together to get it done unless you want to spend months doing it on your own. Also one thing I want to emphasize here which is the fact that it all depends on complexity of the project because sometimes you need to create realistic characters in rich environments with lots of props and complicated details and on the other hand you can try to keep it simple so the project does not take forever. Blender offers 3D artists the ability to sculpt which is very important for creating characters and organic or intricate details in the environment. As I said before, Blender was made to be a complete package that can cover pretty much all the needs of artists in an animation pipeline. UV Unwrapping After you model a character or anything else in a scene, you need to UV unwrap it or UV map it to prepare it for the next stage. This process sometimes is not really needed, especially for simple things such as walls or pieces of furniture, but as things get complicated, it becomes necessary to be able to paint your 3D models correctly. Painting and Texturing Texturing is also a very important part of creating characters and scenes because it is going to make everything look like it is alive. 3D animation studios call this process surfacing, and it is all about creating textures, painting, and adding colors to surfaces in general and their ability to interact with light. Rigging Rigging refers to the process of creating the bone structure of a 3D model which can be used to manipulate a 3D model like a puppet for animation. Pretty much anything can be rigged, a character, an animal, a vehicle, a tree, you name it. It doesn't really make any difference what the object is. Adding bones will allow any object to be animated freely. Blender can allow you to create complex rigs as well as simple rigs using auto-rigging tools. When you finish the process of rigging, you will be able to take your character to action through the process of animation. Animation After your characters are rigged, you need to bring them to the 3D environments or the 3D scenes you created for animation. In this process, camera movements will also be involved because they will move with characters to capture their movements. In the animation stage, you have to create the movements of each character frame by frame. This can be one of the longest stages of production. It is also where you can make your animated movie great or poor. Artists and small studios who have the money and experience to work with motion capture technology are going to be able to make things a lot faster. Lighting Lighting is an art and a science in of itself. It is a very important part of creating your scenes and setting the mood of the film in general. It is one of the few things that can take a good work to an extraordinary level. If you use strong lighting, it is going to be too bright, and if you use too little light, it's gonna be too dim and unclear to the viewers, so you need to find the right balance to tell a good story. You can create amazing scenes with very detailed and cool looking characters, but if you can't show your work properly through a good lighting, then it will not matter that much. Rendering The final aspect of production is rendering your work, and you are gonna do this in form of frames. For this job you need a very strong high-end computer, or you can use services of online render farms which will allow you to get faster results. When you render a film, you're gonna be rendering several thousand frames at least. This is gonna take a lot of time if you're gonna do it on one simple computer. Number 3. Post-production Now you have an animated movie, but it is not ready yet because it needs to go through post-production, which is completely possible to do using Blender. Compositing this process involves bringing all the elements of the scene into the animation pipeline. You will render different passes to create final shots. This stage is usually where most of the post-production is done. You should invest a good portion of time here because if you do a good job, your movie will be drastically visually enhanced during this process. Sound editing or sound design. During this process, you will make sure that the voice is going to synchronize with the characters. This involves lips and body movement sounds as well, in addition to environment sound effects. Video editing. This is the last step in the process in which you will make sure that everything will come together nicely. All the shots that were created will come together in one video. Some shots will look out of proportion with the rest of the movie, so you should consider cutting them out. You can add other final touches, such as visual effects, text, color correction, and so on.
I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.